All right, welcome to Outlast, everybody. Here we go. Sinking data, great. Okay. Uh, so let's wait a second before we go, I guess. Adjust the gamma by moving to the logo to the on the left to the start. And the character on the right. I don't even see the logo on the left. Okay. Uh, let's go like there, I guess. Alright. So, I decided to take a break from No More Heroes because I got uh, Outlast 2 came out and I bought the uh, the Trinity collection which comes with the first game Whistleblower and Outlast 2 and I was like I want to play this I want to play this and so here we are playing this so what I'm gonna do is also I'm increasing the length of the episodes now and I'm probably gonna post less per week just because it's kind of hard at the moment to like um, balance work and uh, and this so yeah that's where we're at right now um, okay I'm gonna cut here for a second hold on all right, let's just get into this. I'm just gonna start. Um, I did play. I have played this game a little bit before. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshore, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive. Mount Massive Asylum is kind of on the nose. I think. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choice is to run, hide, or die. Well, not a lot of options there, then. Run, hide, or die. Got it. Alright, so I probably waited a bit too late to start recording this. It's like... The Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Even though I have it on PC, I actually own it on PC, but I bought the Trinity on Xbox One, so that's what I'm playing it on right now. So it might be a bit different. Uh, before I played it on PC, when I, I, I this is another one of those games. I, for some reason, I've been coming back to all those games I tried to do a while ago. This is kind of just a coincidence, just because Outlast 2 came out, is why I'm playing this now. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to finish this. September 17, 2013, from 102601... Okay. It's miles up short, tip illegal activity, Markov second. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Madison. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Hmm. Dream therapy. Okay. Uh, let's grab the camera. Let's get out there. Let's film. Let's film some shit. Why don't we, huh? Why don't we, huh? Yeah. Let's start filming right in the right from the car. Let's let's first film my name tag so everybody knows who I am. Okay. All right. That's it. That was enough footage for for today. Let's 
Let's hop out. Let's hop out. Don't need to bring my name tag, I guess. Don't need to prove, you know, that I'm a press, a pressman. Objectives are up. Oh, door closing behind me. So there's the electronic gates, I guess. Somebody let me in, right? Who let me in? Okay, anyways. Mm. Let's get in here. Oh, look at those cute little drawings. Look at that cute little witch and pumpkin. And we got like a whale or something. Can I zoom in? No, I can do this though. Uh, no. Okay, it's uh, just a kid and, uh, and a whale. That's cute. Somebody posted this classified paper upside down. I'm not very organized. Ooh, this is. This field of view is kind of weird. Oh, I feel really tall. Am I really tall? Am I super tall? I've never experienced being this tall in real life. This is an out of body experience. Password. Well, somebody's been here recently, right? Because these are all on. They're not like in sleep mode, and somebody tried to enter the password, and usually, if I know my computers. It'll keep the password prompt open and then close it just eventually over time. It'll just do that. So be it. So be it. Oh, we're we're filming. Got got to get all this on tape. Got to record everything. Keep a record. There's my car. Here's my car. What do you guys like that? Pretty cool, huh? Say uh. It's a Jeep, I guess. Top of the line, you know. I'm not trying to show off or anything, but you know, if you if you got nice things, you know, you just, it, it's nice. To, mm, it's nice to tell people. Mm, let me in. Okay. Uh, I didn't need to do that, but uh, anyways, I don't need to fill any anything. I'm just messing around, just cause. I feel like it, and there's no other reason. So let's get the fuck in there. To open a door quickly, press X. To open a door slowly, hold down X, and move forward or backward. Ooh, very cinematic. To raise your camcorder, press RB. I can't remember what I need to film exactly. I think the, the camcorder helps me um, see in the dark. But other than that, I'm not sure if there's any much reason to film. I don't think the battery goes down unless you're using a light. Event recorded. What did I record? I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks those bastards. Alright, looks like uh, I would just film the building. So, in my, in my thoughts and feelings... Uh, okay, we can go there. Let me check around first. I think there's a run button, but... Ooh, there's a jump button. I can leap around like a... Like a cute little... Cute little deer. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, can somebody let me in? Uh, what's the run button? There's gotta be one. Not B. Uh, let me just check around here, I guess. Don't want to miss anything. See, so, yeah, like I said before, I'm going to do 50 minute episodes now. So, they're going to be longer episodes. I'm actually going to get more footage per week. Um, but I'm only going to upload like three times a day. Uh, because I, like, just recently started the channel, it probably won't, like, hey, man, it won't make the difference to anybody, so, <clears throat> whatever.
Alright, there's nothing going on. I desperately need a run button though, please. Wait, didn't they tell me there was a run button? Oh. There is a run button. It's RB. Right bumper. Ooh, light. Here we are. In a, a beautiful, beautiful little fountain garden. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in with. Why would I want to zoom in exactly? There's a window up there. Looks broken. Something that. Oh, I could probably get in that way. This door is probably going to be locked. That's probably the deal here. Well, I guess I can't even... Oh, I have to press the X button, right? Alright. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Moving right along. Let's go up this ladder here. And see what we can find up here. Gotta get in here. Press A while moving forward. Yeah, nailed it. Landed it. I got this shit down. No problem. No problem doing this. Alright, let's get up there. Oh. That's not good. Okay. We can barely see anything. Okay. It's real dark. It's real dark. Nothing up there. Uh, we can go out that way. Well, this drains battery, so I'm gonna need to... I don't think there's any reason to explore. I think I should just move. Uh, I probably don't need that anymore. Okay. Um, what do we got in here? Looks like not much is going on in here. It's like a little waiting area. So that's cool. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Okay. Alright. Alright then. That's fine. I don't have any problem with that. A two one uh, Skinner and Beyond. These book titles are, some of them are just backwards. Did they just print the, um, okay, whatever. I'm not going to dwell too long on that. <clears throat> just video game things. What's in here? Nothing. Except a battery. Hell yeah. Batteries are used for infrared light. You can reload by pressing Y. I think that said Y. Alright. Why would I press that button? There's a file. What's it say? Project Wall Rider Patient Status Report for William Hope. Mount Massive CO, Painish patient initials WPH Billy, consultation dated 2012-1014, initial dated patient consult 2009, patient age 19, gender male, observing physician Dr. Carl Houston, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states, Morph morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule, spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed rhythmic REMR laughter in RNRM state. Okay. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murfa and the Asafum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. 
All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytic coal biometrics. Okay. I don't know what that means, but all right. Let's move on. Then. Uh, hello? Hello? Alright, not too personable. I want to hang out. Looks like something bad happened over there. But, uh... It's not really my... Problem. Hold on a second. Somebody just standing behind me? That's creepy, I don't like that. Oh my god, alright. Where'd he go? Back here? Hello? 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 Alright, you know what? Fuck that. Let's just, um... Let's do something else, you know? Let's move on to somewhere new and happy. New and... Oh, maybe he went in here. Maybe that was always there, I just didn't notice. I guess he went this way. I ain't going up there. Can I even go up there? Oh, I can! Oh god, no, I don't want to go down there. B. I want to look at this first. What the fuck is that? Avoid contamination, please wash your hands. Good advice, good advice. Think before you trash, good advice, good advice. Always... Always nice to recycle and wash your hands. Nothing over there. Light at the end of this tunnel. Who is that? What just happened? Am I gonna get killed if I go back? Okay, I can't go back. Well, thanks game for protecting me until you wanna freak me out. I appreciate it. Although I also resented a bit, so there's that. Okay, here we are. I have some bad stuff going on in here. Some bad mojo. Oh god, Jesus Christ. I shouldn't open that so fast. Fuck. Oh, that freaked me out. Oh. Oh shit. All right. Here we go. Okay. More, more, more. All right. There's another man. Let's just get. Let's just get to the end of this, huh? <laughs> Let's not dwell in here too long. Okay. Uh, what's up? Okay. <coughs> They killed us. You caught out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible. How are you still alive? Holy shit, dude. Um, okay, I'm liking the sound of that, but I have a feeling that it's not going to work out like that, so... <laughs> ah. I have a feeling that if I could just walk out the main doors, this game would be pretty short. Um. So...
I'm in for a treat here. I'm in for a treat. Can't wait for it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? And who are you, then? Who, who, am, who are you? Who am I? Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Okay, hey, my couch is really loud. It seems like I got a little, this leather couch. So it makes noises. I'm sorry, that was uh, I was on a tangent there. Um, escape the asylum. That's how security control to unlock the main doors. Yeah, I suppose I can do that. Hmm, these guys seem to have had a bad time. They all don't have heads. There were a bunch of heads up there. I guess that's just their... It's just how they roll. That's just their style. I'll take them heads. The heads are the, uh... Are, are where the souls are, you know? You gotta take the head. Cause that's, that's really the, um... Without a head, a body is just a body, you know, they're all the same, but it's the heads, you know, that have the personality, you know, you guys know what I mean? I think you guys know what I mean. Uh, okay, here's a, here's a copman. We had a calculator on him, I guess? Okay. You know what? Everybody's got their own thing, you know? Carrying a calculator is this guy's thing. Gotta bring a calculator, be prepared as they as they say. I was a boy scout once, you know? I, 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 I knew, I, I know the, I know the boy scout motto. I never did make it to Eagle Scout. Kind of a, uh, quit halfway uh, halfway through. I got to like first class or something. But my uh, maybe I shouldn't talk too much about that. Because I mean if I upload this and eventually people find out who I am then those people that I was in. Anyways, let me uh, look at this. Warrant for seizure. The Murkoff Corp United States Office Warrant for Seizure case number. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, okay, yeah, blah, blah. Been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security. It was reason to believe catastrophic security failure of Psychiatric Center. Wow, okay. Weren't for seizure. We are satisfied that the affidavits and the testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action yeah. oh, gross. on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corps or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Cool. Alright. Uh, where to... Oh, it's hot in here. Alright, let's figure this out. Let's... can I go this way? There's a... There's a man over there, and I'd like to... I'd like to talk to him. I'd like to get his name. Maybe ask him to brunch sometime. Oh, um... 
my bad. Drop that. I got an achievement for that shit? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. I deserve that achievement. Security room. Okay, so I gotta go to the security room to unlock the main doors. Electric room is downstairs in case the electricity's out, but it's not, so. Library is upstairs, recreation hall, cafeteria chapel. Uh, so I guess uh, that's why. Security room. Somebody had a bit of a uh, bit of an accident in here. It looks like mm -hmm. a little bit of an accident in here. Witness. Witness. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't read this. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff. Scientists hung from the ceiling. Their bodies say Murkoff advanced research systems. Murkoff's long-time M.O. has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. That's true. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my skull. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start. <laughs> fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, and knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler. Damn, this guy's got a got a real way with words. In a homemade priest outfit, calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. All right. What else we got in this in this hellhole? What else we got going on? Um, not my problem really. Pick up battery. I'm gonna s see a lot of that. Probably. Who did that? Who was so rude that they would just shut a door on me like that? Hello? Hello? Okay. Wait a second, that, that wasn't there before. Looks like somebody just got pushed down the stairs. Well, you know, I got, uh, I got things to do. I don't like it. I don't like it. These people manage to sneak up behind me like that. Door needs a key card. Fuck. Fuck that. That's the security room, I think. So I need a key card to get in there. Um. I don't know why I keep looking up the chimneys. There's not gonna be anything up there. God damn it. That's my problem. One of these guards probably has a key card, right? Next, pick up document. What do we got? Notes, not notes. Documents. From Helen Grant. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Court. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to ensure continued control and profit. Okay. Great, so these guys are just scumbags is what I'm getting from this. Guess that's what I'm supposed to get. Evil corporation, you know. Sold news. 
Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Good point, good point. But still, I'm just a reporter and I have no, um... Uh, I... No stake in this, really, except... Uh, to get out. Um... I mean, I'm recording all this and I, it's probably enough already of footage that I have to, uh... Make a pretty good case that this, um... Corporation really doesn't have a handle on what it's doing. You know, I could probably just leave right now. I mean, there's a dead man right here. Dead security guard. So, uh... Yeah. Um... Okay, I can't go this way. I can go downstairs. Right? Yeah, still can't go that way. I don't think I tried these doors over here. This one's blocked by a computer, so why even bother to try that one? This one's just open. Okay. Just straight open. Let me check all these desks and see if there's anything interesting. Oh, I was just standing on that man. Don't mind me just standing on a man. Just man standing. can't see, but I don't want to use my battery. Oh, there's nothing... There's nothing here. Nothing here. I have a feeling... I mean, I don't want to miss anything, is the thing. Alright. What do we got? Okay, nothing over there. Anything over here? No. Oh, yes. Whoa, oh, wrong thing. What do we got? <coughs> Patient status report. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 200,000 ppn. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedules. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following a self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint, restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive durable eruptions is consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Twatar lizards in their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding Progression of the ME process is predominant fixation amplified by therapy as a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So Walker. CLW Walker. Male, age 32. Okay. Case, okay. So he tried to rip the forehead. He ripped his forehead skin off. Um, because he wanted... He felt like it was blocking his... Parietal eye, as they say, an all-seeing eye. It's like a third eye that sees the truth, as it were. What's up, dude? What's up, my friend? Need to talk to somebody? Tell somebody your problems? I'm here for you, man. Oh. All right. That's fine, you don't have to talk to me, you know. But, you know, it helps. Hey guys, hey dudes. What's happening? What you guys watching? Uh, I see, okay, cool. Um, God damn it, wrong button again. Notes. 
Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Great observation, me. I really, uh... Really sum that up really well. So, it was a good, uh, good sum up. Okay, what's over here? This music's a bit unsettling. A little bit unsettling. What's up, dude? Oh, you're dead. But you do have a key card, and I desperately need that. So thank you. I'll be taking that, and I'll be on my way. Shall I? Collected objects are updated in your report. God damn it! They always. I don't have time to read. Inventory. The key card for security control. Okay. Cool. So that's uh, progress. Um, I can't. I'm, I assume I can't go this way. All right. Great. I don't know if I need to be filming everything, but I'm filming everything, so get over it. Um, yeah, just get over it, okay? This doesn't drain my battery, it just... <laughs> God damn! Get them out! Please! I... Mm, I feel bad for these people. Holy shit. Uh, that sucks. Shit. All right, let's let's just let's just worry about ourselves, shall we? Uh, a lot of people are gonna be batshit insane in here, but you know you can't really blame them for what happened to them. It's not their fault. I mean, maybe he was crazy from the beginning. I don't actually know that, so maybe it is his fault. I don't know, but... I mean, even then, I guess it wouldn't really be his fault for... his brain not working correctly. Note that you can... Sorry, I missed... God damn it, I keep missing these, because I'm... I guess it was just telling me about the lean option. Alright. Oh wait, did I not open this door? Did I try? I didn't. Oh, that's cute. Oh, somebody made a little, uh... A little art project there. Alright, let's go in here then, shall we? Beep. Boop. In we go. And let's open. Uh, I, I, I'll, I didn't need to. Okay, we're hiding now. Don't mind me, just hanging out in the locker for a sec. Just needed a. They lie. Who does? Lots of people lie. It's just a. Uh, that keyboard does not have enough buttons. It, it does QWERTY and then U. There's missing an IOP. Astiff. Oh, there he is. Hey. Oh, well. Lights out, I guess. Restart the generator in the basement. This guy's just causing me more problems. This guy's keeping me here. Okay. So, he's my problem. He's my main problem right now. I'm locked in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. I guess I was supposed to hide? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, no. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, please, no. Please leave me alone. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Fuck, shit, I did not... Ugh. Did not expect that. We have to contain it. Don't try to fight. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. But you know, you could have given me 
You could have said that before, you know. Yeah, you wanted to show me, I guess. There he is. There's my big, beautiful friend. Man, that, that's, it's like every Warriors game is like that. It's funny. They always... You hide in one locker, and then they always check the other locker, and then don't check this one. Every time. It's hilarious. It makes me laugh. Um, alright, there he goes. Let's listen. There it is, okay. Because there's a gate that way, and it was locked, so he went that way. Okay, so we should be safe. Relatively safe, at the very least. Though I'm going to watch behind me in case. Fuck, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. We gotta restart the generator. Look at that. The uh, screen is just a window. That's not how cameras work. Let's read that, shall we? God damn it. Let's give that a read. MK Ultra. What was that? MK Ultra. CIA Hypnotic Homicide. It'll probably tell me about it. McUltra. Hypnotic Experimentation and Research. Uh, this is when they, they kept a bunch of people. No. Okay. A post hip. A post hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted mrs jackson and pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion miss pierce was then instructed having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken miss jackson now in a deep hypnotic sleep and failing this she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at miss jackson she was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill miss jackson for failing to awaken that's a very dangerous plan. Miss Pierce carried out the suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded oh, it's unloaded, pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. So it's just hip 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 hypnoticism. Cool. Just a door that's. What's up here? Oh, I remember this. Oh, fuck. Okay. Turn on the two gas pumps in the main breaker to restart the generator. I remember this. Alright. Here's what happened before. Got a battery. Okay. So I need to turn this on. No, nope, no, I didn't. What? Excuse me, no. Need to turn this on. And then I believe I need to hide. Shh. 
he in here? I don't want to waste battery. There he is. There's the big boy himself. Now herein lies the problem. I gotta get to the second generator. And he's in here. Hoodie tat. He's still in here? I can't tell. Can't hear him. There he is. Go down. Who is that? Hello. No, 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 you can't see me. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Please, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Uh, there's no lockers in there. I was hoping there'd be lockers. Can't see, can't see. Lock, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't see anything. Oh, just kill me. Just kill me. Please just kill me. I just wanna, I wanna die. I wanna die. Alright, that's good. Oh, what's the idea here? So he's there. He stands up there, and... Why am I all the way back here? Okay. Ah, damn it, I can't see. Who's there? Okay, he kind of mumbles the rest, so I can't really hear him. Alright, so the plan is changing. The plan changed now that I know the future. Uh, let's turn on this one first, because if I go on the other one, they have lockers, and I can open them, so that's good. <laughs> Maybe I can run over there real fast. Can't see. Can't see. Get in the locker. Get in the locker. Fuck. Alright, there we are. Now I just gotta turn on the main one. So let's turn off the light. Here he comes. Now he's gonna come in. Maybe I can run past him. Oh fuck, I forgot to pick up the battery. Whatever. Megan gonna run for it. I don't know how he didn't see me, but... No, no, I did it! No, 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 I did it! No. I fucking did it, though. I fucking did it, though. No, I fucking... Hold on. Hold on just a second here. I did it, though. I did it, didn't I? I turned them both on. They were both on. They're both on. Excuse me! They're both on. Son of a bitch. Uh, I don't know where I am. It's so fucking dark in here, dude. Just leave. Why don't you just leave? Just leave me alone. He thinks I died. 
Alright, he's gone. But we got on two breakers anyways. We got another battery. So that's good. That's a drop in the bucket. Can't see. Oh, fuck. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. We gotta go over here. Alright. That made a loud noise. Maybe I shouldn't have... Wait, is this the same room? It's the same room. No, no, no. Open. So I recently, um... A couple months ago, I guess it was, I played Resident Evil 7. Which was an amazing game. And everybody should play it. It was fantastic. Definitely a return... F ah, fuck. Okay. A return to form for the series. Which I was a big fan of, uh... I was a huge Resident Evil fan when I was younger. One of my favorite franchises. I probably know more about that series than like any other game. Probably tell you anything about it. So maybe I'll go play those eh, someday. <laughs> but yeah, the Resident Evil series sort of went downhill. It was uh, um. See, Resident Evil 4 was good, but it was kind of the beginning of the issues with the series. What the hell is that? There's no lockers in here. Oh, there are. Okay, anyways, I gotta end this episode here and I'll... Well, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a 50 long, 50 minute long episode, but <laughs> I'm gonna do a three this week, so this will be the first. And uh, we will return to No More Heroes later, but I want to finish uploading Half Life, so I'm recording. I wanted to, I want to finish this game, so I want to play this game right now. And I know I've like stopped Full Throttle and I stopped. No more heroes now, but no more heroes will be back, and maybe I'll. I finished full throttle, so I might throw the rest of those episodes out someday. But I wasn't really happy with those, so that's why I didn't upload them. But maybe you know, I, I guess I can upload them if people want them. So, uh, but I do want to finish uploading Half Life: Opposing Force because I want to get into Blue Shift, and then the rest. I guess that's just the plan. So uh, thanks for watching. And we will continue with this series, and hopefully, uh, we will finish this series, and I won't stop playing. I'm gonna be like doing another game. All right, see you later. Bye.